friends, I'm Stacy, the Teen Services Library Assistant at the Gosstown Public Library, and you are tuning into Let's Create Teen DIY. This video is part of our 2020 Summer Experience. Each Thursday in July, I will create a new teen video, and it will center around our theme of Imagine Your Story. What is that? Well, it's celebration of fantasy and folklore, fairy tales and mythology, and even your own unique story and voice. So come along with me, friends. Let's create. Okay, so we are in week one, DIY Catapult. But before we begin, I want to make sure you know about our teen to go bags. So while supplies last, stop by the library lawn and pick up a teen to go bag with the supplies needed to follow along in the craft. Bags can be picked up on Wednesdays from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. or Thursdays 10 to 11 a.m. or 3 to 4 p.m. And then you can just follow along at home. Each bag is available the week before uh, the craft will be shown in the video. So for example, this DIY catapult craft was um, a teen to go bag that was available on the library lawn last week. But if you didn't get a bag, that's okay because all the supplies needed and the directions are in PDF format and they're available on Goffstown Public Library's website. So you can go there, grab some supplies, and follow along with me. All right, let's get started. Oh my goodness, I almost completely forgot. If you are following along in Boston Public Library's uh, summer experience using Read Squared, then you wanna make sure that you listen during this demonstration because there's the secret code that you're gonna put into your account in order to earn points. And also, if you make this craft, make sure you snap a picture of it and upload it to your Read Squared account so that you can also work on earning the Crafty Cavern Mission Badge. All right, I think that's everything, except for the fact that I'm a little bit craft challenged, but I'm still gonna have some fun and hopefully you will following along. So here's what you're going to need for the catapult. You should have 12 craft sticks, seven rubber bands. You're only gonna use five, but you wanna have some extras just in case there's something that breaks. One bottle cap and two marshmallows. And then you're gonna want some hot glue or a glue stick uh, and maybe some markers or some paint to decorate your catapult at the end. The thing I did first is I glued my bottle cap onto the end of one of the craft sticks. I used hot glue at home um, because I think that was sturdier, but if you don't have hot glue, then you could use a glue stick. Just use a lot of glue on the stick and on the bottom of the bottle cap itself, and you may need to let it dry. After that, we're gonna take 10 sticks and we're gonna stack them. So one, two, All right, we're gonna take these 10 sticks, stack them on top of each other, and then we're gonna wrap a rubber band around each end of the stack, like this. One. And two. There we go. We're gonna take the craft stick with the bottle cap and the remaining craft stick, and we're gonna wrap the opposite end of the bottle cap with one of our rubber bands. Here we go. Place the stack of the bundled craft sticks in between these two. So just like so. All right, see that? Now we need to secure all the craft sticks together. Okay, and we do this by kind of using a crisscross pattern, but you can do it any way you want to. What I found easy was to go around both like that, and then to just kind of keep wrapping. See if I can get it a, oops, a third time. There we go. And then you're gonna take your other rubber band 
and do the same thing on this side. Okay. And now you have your catapult. You can decorate your catapult by using markers or paint, or you can leave it as it is. But the last step, of course, is to take your marshmallow, put your finger right on the bottom here, hold down that bottle cap, and launch. Do you want to see that again? Okay, so that is our catapult. I can't wait to see pictures of your catapult and maybe you made some other things to go with the theme. Maybe you're gonna storm the castle and you made a castle. Maybe you just made a target and you're going to aim your marshmallow at that target. I would love to see that too. And I didn't forget, you're probably waiting for the secret code. So the secret code for you to enter into your Read Squared account is there we go. So thanks for joining me today. I hope to see you next week. Bye. I almost forgot. If you want to see more of this great content, don't forget to subscribe to Gosnell Public Library's YouTube channel.